on the original. And Jason asked me, well, what did you do? And I think I did some website or something, because by the time we got there, I'm like, well, gosh, everybody else has done something, and I haven't. Um, and then pretty much I haven't. So, um, so my favorite goes back to um, kind of what my teaching situation has been this year. It's called Thursday Lunch. Now, I started off with a group of freshmen last year. Not this past school year, the year before, pardon me. Um, they were a little bit of a rough group. Let's just say that they're um, kind of over the top sometimes with drama, with, um, you don't have anybody like that, right? Um, over the top with their voices, uh, their actions. They like to be up and moving around. It's a difficult bunch. And at the end of my first year with them, I was glad that I was done with them. Except my principal, in her infinite wisdom, said at the end of the year, you know, Lisa, we're going to move you from Algebra 1 to Algebra 2 because that's your wheelhouse. Well, in our school, we do Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry. So guess who I had again this year? And Jason will tell you, by the end of the year, I'm like, oh my god, I have to have this group of kids another year. You have to be kidding me. Hopefully they mature over the summer. About that much. So, you know, trying different classroom management techniques. Um, two nice things, Alyssa, where you at? Tried that. They, uh, anyway, sometimes it's a hot mess for me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But some of those boys, it's like, now wait a minute, you just, you got to say two nice things, and they do do that. She's right. Um, you don't know about that, ask Alyssa about it. It's a great thing uh, to help promote positive culture in the classroom. But anyways... I'm in a small school. We have about 350, 912. And at some point, it kind of popped into my head. It's like, you know what? I'm tired of eating in the teacher lunchroom and hearing the same stuff all the time. And I really don't want to go eat in my classroom by myself. Maybe I'll go eat with the kids. Now, our cafeteria is about this size. Um, and it's like, well, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Well, long story short, I got the guts up to do it one day. And I sat down with somebody I knew was pretty safe. And it was actually a really enjoyable lunch. We had conversation about stuff that was not math. Got to know a little bit about the kids. So the next Thursday I went back. And I think that Thursday I sat with that lovely group of boys that drives me up a wall that maybe is growing on me a little bit. So, um, and I kept going back every Thursday. Now, that group of boys got mad when I sat with somebody else the next week. <laughs> and they said, you have to come sit with us. And I'm like, well, I'm already committed to be here. So, um, so I had to go back and sit with them. And they're like, you come sit with us every week. I'm like, no, i got to get around. But I'll come back and sit. Anyways, I probably eat lunch with them about once a month now. Um, but another thing kind of happened in the process. You start to develop those relationships and you learn a little bit more about what they're passionate about. And maybe they aren't quite the biggest pain in the you-know-what for you. And you can kind of have that relationship where they'll maybe settle down for you. And they got better over the end of the year. Um, towards the end of the year, we're doing these homeroom things, I guess, next year for us. And we're going to stay with the group for four years. And I told my principal, I said, different principal, I said, I know that you wouldn't believe this, but I want those boys next year. Because I want them, I want to follow them the rest of the way through. And although they will sometimes give me crap, they love me and I know it, and I love them and they know it. And they will walk up to anybody who talks smack about me and say, wait a minute, you can't go say that about Mrs. Henry. And they, I know they've got my back. They're still pitas, but, you know, they got my back. And that's something you just can't change. So I'm really grateful that I had the gumption to do it, and I'm already planning on doing it next year. Except I got a new bunch of kids. But I'm pretty sure if I don't go eat lunch with my boys, I'm, I'm going to catch hug. So, so that's Thursday lunch.